Hello everyone. A while back, Nighthawk in Light released a video showing how he made a large parabolic reflector out of a Mylar space blanket. I wanted to try this and had an idea for a simpler version. This method can't make mirrors as big as Nighthawks, but you can make a mirror several inches in diameter in less than half an hour. To make this mirror you will need a drill, a hot glue gun, some epoxy glue, duct tape, a mylar space blanket, and an automotive vacuum line connector. I got this from an auto shop, but if you can't get one of these easily, just about any piece of tube will do, even a drinking straw. The final thing you will need is some sort of round container. I used a 16cm PVC stormwater pipe end cap I bought from my local hardware store for $7. You could even use a bucket or a trash can lid. First I drilled a hole in the side of the PVC cap large enough for my airline connector. I then sealed and secured the connector in place with hot glue. Next I cut out a piece of mylar slightly larger than the PVC cap. I taped it to my workbench, using the tape to pull the mylar taut to remove the wrinkles as much as possible. I mixed some epoxy and applied it to the brim of the PVC cap. I carefully pressed the cap onto the mylar and left it to cure for 15 minutes. Once the epoxy had set, I removed the tape and excess mylar, and used some more tape to hold down the trimmed mylar, mainly to keep it out of the way. And that's it, the mirror's finished. To create the parabolic shape, I gently sucked the air out of the cap using the airline connector. It takes very little pressure to get a nice mirror surface. Post attack or even chewing gum can be used to plug the hole. I now have a useful little parabolic mirror that on a sunny day is capable of igniting paper or dry leaves in a matter of seconds. The focus of the mirror isn't perfect, but unless you want to make a mirror for a telescope, it doesn't need to be. One last handy feature of this design is that you can release the vacuum when you have finished using it, destroying the focus and rendering the mirror safe. I plan to use this mirror for some experiments in the future. If you make one, let me know what you use it for. Ciao for now!